Hey everybody, Doug at Convology here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use SendFox email marketing to send emails to your Thrivecart customers and how to automatically add them from Thrivecart into SendFox. And I'm also going to show you some cool tricks about cart abandonment recovery that you can automate completely with Thrivecart and SendFox. The first thing we want to do is come into SendFox and click on lists here at the top and create a list. Or maybe you already have a list for customers of your product. If somebody purchases the product from uh, Thrivecart, they automatically go into this product list. So for ours, uh, let's go ahead and just call it uh, test product customers. And we're going to automatically send the people that purchase our product through Thrivecart into this list. Now, what you want to do is click create list and I've already created my list. Um, once that's done, click create list and then you're going to want to go to forms in the upper right hand corner. So now we're going to create the form that gives us an HTML code that we give to Thrivecart. In here, the only settings we need to worry about are giving our form a name. So we're going to call this test product customers. I like to keep them the same. It's just easy for organization. And then we choose the list that we want our members to go into. Uh, for this one, I'll keep test list as my list. But this would be the list that we just created for customers that purchased our product. Now we need to decide what uh, fields we want on our form. So for me, sure, I'll have the first name and the last name. And that's really all we need to do. We don't need to worry about the GDPR consent here. We can do that on Thrivecart itself on our product uh, just to ensure that you've got all the GDPR stuff there. You don't need to add a redirect because we won't be using it. And the submit button copy, um, this is not relevant either because the user will never actually be submitting the form on their own. We really just need the name of the form, what list they go into, and the checkboxes for the fields we want to collect their data from. And then we hit publish form. Now we click this copy code button and we take this HTML code over to Thrivecart. Now we're in Thrivecart and once we've set up our product, uh, we've set up our pricing, our fulfillment, and the checkout design, we come to this last tab called behavior and we click on the add rule button and for this example we are going to add people to SendFox when the main product is purchased and we're going to use custom HTML. We just simply paste in the form code that we were given by SendFox and click Save. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, let's add another rule. Wouldn't it be neat that when the cart is abandoned, meaning when somebody goes to purchase our product, fills in their name and their email, but never actually completes the purchase, wouldn't it be really cool if those people could be put into a list in SendFox and then we could automatically send them an email that says, hey, you abandoned the cart, click here to resume. That would be pretty cool. So let's walk through how we make that happen. First, we need to go back over to SendFox. Now we need to make a new list. I like to call this list cart abandonment product name. So when you create a product, this is how I organize it. I have cart abandonment lists for the product name. However you want to name yours, go ahead and click Create List. Now we need to create a form to give the HTML code to Thrivecart. It's the exact same process. We'll give our form a name. We'll choose the list that we want people to go into. I'll choose my Thrive Coaching list. Choose the fields that we want to bring over. I like to bring first name for sure because we're going to use customization or personalization. And then publish that form. Take that code back into Thrivecart and paste in that HTML and click save. Now, when someone purchases this product, they are automatically added to our purchased list in SendFox. And if somebody fails to complete the purchase and they abandon the cart, they're going to receive an email, but we're not done yet. Let's make that automation sequence that actually sends that email. So now that we're in SendFox, you want to at the top, click on automations. And now we want to create a new automation and give it a name. So I'm going to name mine cart abandonment. Uh, let's say I was making this for my Thrive Coaching product. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to choose the list that I want them to go into. Let's say for Thrive Coaching. 
And now I need to set up what happens when this gets triggered. So when somebody is added to my cart abandonment thrive coaching list, that's the trigger, right? We can send an email. So for this email, you can choose your from email and your name and your subject line. Uh, you want to name it something like um, you're almost booked for your thrive coaching call, right? And then for here, we can say, hi, and then we have personalization options. So let's say we wanted to use the person's first name. My first name, let's not bolt that. We can say something like, uh, you didn't finish booking your consultation call with me. And then what we can do is we can create a button. So we could say, click the button below to finish booking your call. Right? You can come up with something better than that. But we need to click this button. I like to add a button. You could add a link, but I like to add a button. And we can give this button a text. So we could say, resume booking your call. And we need to give it a URL. So this URL needs to be the product URL or the checkout URL that you set up in Thrivecart. So let me show you an example. Here we are back in Thrivecart. Let's click save and get URL. So for me, this is my URL. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back into SendFox. Now I'm going to paste in my URL, but there's a little bit more information that we need to gather. We want to send personalized information about this customer back into Thrivecart. And here's how you do that. I've gone ahead and I've written up all of those instructions at convology.com. I'll put a link in the description of this video in case you're watching this on YouTube and you can find how to build these links. Basically, if you wanted to send the email, the first name and the last name back into Thrivecart so that the user did not have to refill out that information, this is the link that you're going to want, but you're going to want to replace your checkout link with the link that, that I showed you from Thrivecart. With that information, this is what we need to add. We need to add these query strings, pass through customer email, pass through customer first name, and pass through customer last name. So let's take a look at how that works. Every time you pass a parameter through to Thrivecart, this is the syntax you need to follow. And they're going to look for everything after the equal sign for that parameter. Now we can dynamically send that information from SendFox using SendFox's personalization merge tags or whatever they're called. And those are right here, right? So for the email, the first name and the last name. So when you put all these elements together, it looks like this. Now, for those that aren't aware, we use the question mark to initiate the, the query string. I think that's what it's called anyway. And we use the ampersand or the and sign to separate our parameters or query strings, whatever they're called. Maybe someone can tell me. So really, you can simply cut and paste this link and fill in the your link, your link here thing. And this link will pass that information. So let's do that. Let's, let's take everything after my site that I already put into SendFox and paste it in. Now I click insert button and it would help if that was below the button. There we go, above the button. All right, now once I've crafted a great email that's personalized and maybe in my brand's voice, I can click save. And when somebody gets this email and clicks on this link, they will immediately be taken back to Thrivecart to the checkout and those fields will automatically be populated with all of the information that we included in that link. All right, guys, that's it. That's how you integrate SendFox with Thrivecart. As you can see, SendFox is an awesome tool that has a, a really robust uh, kind of under the surface aspect to it. The fact that you can use it for cart abandonment and for email automation for customers is really quite something. Um, if you're interested, there's a lifetime deal for SendFox. Yeah, you can get that uh, by going to convology.com slash SendFox. And if you want to check out Thrivecart, you can go uh, to convology.com slash Thrivecart. And that's where you can pick up that awesome tool as well. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the video on YouTube or on convology.com, and I would be happy to help you out.